for me, it was something that I always knew was going to happen. To go to the stores that I want to and travel first class, whatever I want to do, it's just an amazing feeling. It's been four years since Cynthia Stafford won $112 million in the California lottery and her life was transformed. This band is a designer piece and uh, has the highest quality diamonds and the price is 7000 And this one is older piece and the price is 6500 And we have one more. It's a different setting. You see the diamond set. That one is 4500 What else you got? This is nothing. Cool. I thought you were... Yeah, you can, you can relax. Yeah, I'm good now. Stone is a little bit over 15 carats, 15.02. This is beautiful. And do you want to know the price? I would go love ahead. to know the price. <laughs> it is 300,000. Do you say how much? I'm breathing it in right now. <sighs> I think not today yet. Her store is close enough to where I might just have to come by here and... Come on, by, come look at it. Again. Again. But this time without you. Oh, without me. The oh. next time. <laughs> it's been quite a trip since her big win in 2007. I'm Cynthia Stafford, and I won $112 million. We first met Cynthia Stafford in 2009, two years after she'd hit the $112 million jackpot in the California lottery. With her winnings, Cynthia has become a film producer, art collector, philanthropist, and friend to the stars. <laughs> it's a life very different from the one she lived before the win. In 99, my brother was hit by a car. He was crossing the street and got struck by a drunk driver. When that happened, I knew I had to step in. Cynthia was given custody of her brother's two youngest kids. She quit her job as a computer accountant executive to raise them but her brother's other three kids remained in foster care. I didn't think that they should be raised by other people. I felt that they should be with their family. Cynthia knew she needed money to get the other children back. She turned to the power of positive thinking for help. I wrote 112 million on a sheet of paper and I put it under my pillow and slept on that number for a few weeks and meditated. I'm very heavy into meditation. Breathing in positivity, removing all negativity. The positive thinking paid off 112 million times over. Cynthia opted for the lump sum payout of 67 million, which she shared with her father and brother. After taxes, they each took home $22.3 million. And the best thing about the win? Gaining full custody of the kids. Together, they moved from this home in LA's South Bay to this multi-million dollar home in LA's exclusive Pacific Palisades. I have a large home. It's uh, about 5,000 square feet. It's much different from where I lived prior, which is about, I think, 1,100 square feet. And then this former computer account exec bought herself half a million dollars worth of cars. And when we met Cynthia two years ago, love had blossomed between this winner and her personal trainer, business manager, and sometimes chauffeur, Lon Ray Adeyu. The fact that I'm able to work with her at the same time and she's somebody that I care about is actually a perfect uh, marriage. No pun intended, but... <laughs> he might have been joking then, but two years later, Cynthia and Lon Ray are planning their big day. What else has changed for this lottery winner who predicted her own win? It's certainly no less glamorous. Well, in the last two years, I have been doing a lot of things in Hollywood and um, traveling the world and... Just having a great time, a really good time. And that good time involves getting engaged to Lonre. We were on our way to an event in the back of the cab and I asked her, do you have all your jewelry uh, for, uh, for the event? And I'm like, yeah, I have everything I need. That's it. Nope, you're forgetting something. And then I pulled out the ring and showed it to her. This. That one right there. <laughs> we are going to be getting married relatively soon, in a few months. Since her win, with Lon Ray's help, Cynthia has become a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. We started a production company called Queen Efertari Productions. I already have two movies that are out and one that's being shot right now in New York. I have uh, produced Polish Bar and The Inheritance. Both are doing quite well. And that's just the beginning. 
We're working on TV shows, uh, plays. So we have a full-service entertainment company that's just awesome. I think the term power couple puts it very lightly. Now with the wedding three months away, this power couple is power planning. This is my first wedding. When I was in my early 20s, I used to be a wedding planner. So now it's my turn. There's still a lot to do to get ready for the wedding. Cynthia and Lon Ray are tasting wedding cakes at Hollywood's Cake Makers to the Stars. Hi, welcome to Hanson's Cakes. Thank you. And you are? I'm Cynthia. And you are? Lon Ray. Lon Ray. Yes. All right. <laughs> Have some samples here. Thank you. A little plate. I can smell it. It's, it's pretty, it smells good. Don't smush it in my face. $5.50 per person. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at somewhere in the range of four hundred eighty-seven fifty. Oh, okay. Why don't you come back in, and that'll be like six weeks ahead. Okay? Okay. All right. The all-important dress shopping is next, and Lon Ray's been sent packing. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Have you kind of thought about, like, the kind of a dress you want? Actually, everything here is beautiful. You can have any of these dresses, but if, for your dress, you feel more toward like a light and airy kind of a feel, a more kind of like a, kind of a little bit more like body. I want it to flow. This one is, is, is pretty good as well. Oh, you like yeah. the brush? Okay. Yes. I see my mom in something over the top. Definitely. She does big everywhere she goes, so it's definitely going to be big and huge. You two things in mind. Mm -hmm. okay. She's hot blooded okay. and she loves to be comfortable. So this one over here, I love a lot. It's really classy. I love the material. I love the embellishments. And um, that could be a winner. I want the sheerness of that bottom dress right there on the mm -hmm. mannequin. But I do like the top part. What you can do is you can get two dresses. So you can start off with the Duchess satin for the ceremony. Mm -hmm. And then you can get the organza for more of the reception. Oh, I thought I did. What do you guys think? <laughs> Yeah. We, we made both of you happy. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes some really quick measurements because we got to sculpt the stress on you. Got it. So it just gives me just like a, a starting point. Okay. That's going to be great. Hopefully I'm going to look like a trillion dollars. Priceless.